really well conducted. Oh, that way you could insulate it that, not have to worry about it ever uh, hitting, hitting the shack. So that's a station in the US um, that I've just been sort of listening to. Um, pretty amazing, given the fact that uh, th this radio is made of just bits and pieces. Anyway, just thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, obviously, if you've been following me on Twitter and such, uh, I've been building a direct conversion receiver, and here it is completed. Um, I've made a front panel today and a, a Perspex window, um, just to finish off the front of the radio. I think it looks quite nice. Um, obviously, this is the volume control. This is the encoder for changing the frequency. And you can also change which digit you want to adjust um, by pushing the controller in and, and rotating the knob. Uh, on the back here, basically takes 12 volts DC in. That's the antenna. There was another SMA connector here um, where I was putting the uh, LO in because I was using an external one. Um, I've now certainly built the LO, obviously, in the front of the radio. Um, so this may end up being a transmitter. Uh, output for driving a, another transmitter, which I actually have another one of these cases um, which I can stack on top. So if, when I get my call sign uh, and if I want to build a transmitter, I can take a output from the uh, from the LO because it has three to drive another another unit or something. Um, that's a speaker outlet for or for headphones, um, but you don't really need it because the radio has a speaker in the bottom. This is from a video conferencing system, so it's quite a good um, speaker. It has a plastic enclosure, and it sounds quite good, I think. Anyway, let's just uh, turn it back around and see if we can hear any more conversation. Oh, we can have a bit of a tune around and have a go. And it seems like someone's talking up here. Yeah, stop. Still talking again, I think. So yeah, so um, realistically, would make a great little portable radio for carrying around in a backpack. Um, you just need a 12 volt battery, um, and a, yeah, at the moment I'm using a 21 meter length of wire on a couple of poles out in the yard. Um, I do actually have a uh, high pass filter to block block out the uh, AM band broadcast band at the moment. Uh, I get a lot of um, harmonics and stuff in the radio because um, I'm obviously pretty close to a repeater in town. Um, for the AM broadcast. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits here, um, and thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.